So when working, from time to time, you will be informed that the patient has low potassium. The normal level of potassium is 3.3 to 5.3 millimole per liter. And when the potassium drops below 3.0, we will have to do fast corrections, as low potassium level is dangerous for the heart. So we give the patient potassium fast correction. And it usually is 1 gram of KCL fast correction or 2 gram of KCL fast correction. So some department actually allows us to use our gut feeling to decide how much gram of KCL to fast correct. Usually when the patient come in with potassium level of around 2.8 to 3, we will correct with 1 gram of KCL. And when the potassium level is really low like 2.6, we will give 2 gram of KCL fast corrections. But then some other department are more strict about potassium corrections and actually requires you to do proper calculation on the potassium deficits. So to calculate potassium deficits, we first take the target level of potassium that we want to achieve, 3.5 in most cases, but some MO want us to correct to 4.0, then minus the current level of potassium, take that value, times the body weight of the patient, and then times 0.4. This will give us the millimole of potassium that the patient needs. Take that value and divide it by 13.4 because 1 gram of KCL gives us 30.4 millimole of potassium. And that will give us the number of gram of KCL that the patient needs. Quick example, a 50 kg patient came in with potassium level of 2.8 and we are trying to correct him to 3.5. So how many grams of KCL should we fast correct him? 3.5 minus 2.8 times 50 times 0.4 and divide the total value with 13.4 and we will get around 1 gram of KCL. So it is 1 gram of KCL in 100cc of normal saline over 1 hour for that patient. Don't forget to take RP 1 hour post fast correction. Uh.